A few months ago, Drake and The Weeknd dropped a single that set the internet on fire. Everybody was talking about how good it was. It was so crazy and the beat and the lyrics and everything was so good. But it turns out it really wasn't Drake or The Weeknd who were involved in this release. The two singers were actually AI generated. Computer software was used to scour the internet and find every Drake song there was and every song by The Weeknd. The software memorized the voice, the cadence, the tone of the voices. It also memorized the style of singing of both singers, the kinds of lyrics that they tend to sing, the topics they tend to sing about took all of this information together and on its own, the AI generated this song with these two world-renowned artists. And at the very beginning, nobody knew it wasn't them. This is the part where you expect me to say, the future is here, it's wonderful. I think we're seeing the collapse of civilization as we know it. I try not to get too hyperbolic and exaggerate and use conspiracy theories to scare people. I tend to be an optimist. I really like progress and science. I believe in science. I believe science makes our lives better. So I'm not gonna blame the computers and say that the computers that have no soul are taking over our airwaves, our music, our art. I blame human beings. I blame us. See, we thought that we could push this thing called technology to the fullest, that we could wring every drop of money that we could make from it to enrich ourselves with no consequences, that we would somehow figure it out as we went. And if we found any obstacles, we would fix them along the way, just like we've always done. But we've reached a tipping point in society where the computers are at least as smart as we are. This is called the singularity. Let me clarify. Most scientists believe that the singularity hasn't happened yet. However, there's a small group of scientists who work in AI who have been ringing the alarm, letting us know that they believe that we have already reached the point of singularity where computers and humans are pretty much at the same level of intelligence and computers are about to take over in terms of intelligence and ability. And now it's just a matter of computers surpassing us. Because you see, it took thousands and thousands of years for us to accumulate the knowledge that we have now. And computers acquired our level of knowledge in less than 50 years. And the thing about it is, the more it learns, the better it gets at learning. So it was learning at an accelerated speed. I mean, imagine a computer, a computer that doesn't have to take breaks. It doesn't have to sleep. It never gets tired. It never gets overwhelmed. It simply is just learning, 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 receiving more information 24 seven. Of course it was going to surpass us at some point. Why didn't we see this coming? Or did we? Are we welcoming this? And why are we welcoming it? I recently discovered TikTok radio on XM satellite radio. And I listen to it because, you know, the, the music is catchy. It's the music of the moment that you hear. I'm not a huge TikTok person. I have a TikTok account because I think it's a great way to promote my YouTube channel. And I need to get better at that. I really should. But the music that becomes popular in TikTok becomes popular everywhere else. And you can hear it on Instagram, you hear it on YouTube, you hear it on the radio, it's everywhere. So if you listen to TikTok radio, you're listening to the latest music out there. And I noticed something. A lot of the music that is popular on TikTok, it's sped up. So it's the same beat, it's the same melody, but the voice of the performer is sped up so they can reach a higher decibel. And at first, I'm sure you heard a couple of songs that did that and you thought, oh, that's so cute. That sounds really cute. It sounds almost childlike. But now those types of songs have taken over TikTok and therefore have taken over popular music. What's the problem with that? Well, the problem with that, it's that it's making us get used to listening to machines 
and liking the sounds that the machine makes more than the sounds made by the human voice. See, the machines can hit higher registers than is possible for humans. This song by Mariah Carey has become very popular. It's sped up, it has sped up her voice, so it is a higher register. Now, Mariah can hit in human notes, right? <laughs> But what if you could generate a sound using her voice to hit even higher notes that she can already hit and make this happen over and over and over again? What if you can bring back Whitney Houston with a voice that never wears out, that can never get hoarse, that can never crack or break? What if you can combine these voices with the most amazing, beautiful, ethereal, dreamy melodies? and make hit after hit after hit. And then, instead of having to have the person go on tour, have their avatar on stage doing the touring. Human beings get tired. They have nervous breakdowns. They cancel tours. Touring companies lose millions and millions of dollars when this happens. What if instead of putting a human being on stage, you put the avatar? You think that's crazy? It's happening right now. It's already happening. And this ABBA tour that was announced is sold out. Now, this is not the deep dive I want to do on AI and the different facets of life where it is changing things. This one is specifically about music. And I really wanna go into all the other areas in which AI wants to, or seems like it is taking over humans. But the fact that music is already being replaced, we're already seeing AI move really fast into photography, paintings, even self-generated video. We're seeing this technology take over. And by the way, is anybody else surprised that AI is having a really hard time drawing fingers? Like what is so difficult about drawing fingers? Three-year-olds learn to master this really quickly. What is going on? I mean, AI can do pretty much anything else. And you're telling me phalanges <laughs> are the Waterloo of AI? Come on, machines, get it together. It's just, it's just fingers and toes. But music, something that is so fraught with emotion, something that tugs at our heartstrings more than pretty much any other form of art. You're telling me we're allowing the machines to take that over? If we let the machines take music, we've lost the battle. We're like on the Titanic, it's already hit the iceberg, water is coming in, and nobody knows what's happening. Because in case you didn't know, when the Titanic hit the iceberg, it took a while for people to realize what had happened. And so the boat had been taking on all this water and it had started to sink before the alarm started blaring and the, the, the people were made aware of what was going on. I feel like this is what's happening right now. And it hurts me. I love music. Music is something that I have always enjoyed. And um, by the way, I don't know if it's the fact that I'm not a fan of modern day hip hop, but that Drake song with The Weeknd, that was trash. It was absolute trash. The beat was so generic. The lyrics were not that inventive. The voices sounded horrible. And people fell for it. Not only did they fall for it, they loved it. This is dangerous, y'all. <laughs> we need to do something. Is it too late? I hope not. I'm going to be doing a, a deep dive into this whole AI thing, and I am going to use AI to help me do the research. So we'll see how that goes. Because I do believe that there is a lot of positive that can come from this. AI can really change things for the positive the way the internet helped us. 
I mean, when I was in high school and most of college, if I wanted to do research on something, I had to go to the library, I had to go to the librarian, I had to ask about a certain topic, the librarian would go in and look into all the database of what the books that they had and the topics and then she would write down the number of the books and give me the card and I would have to go upstairs to where the books were kept and go through line by line to make sure that I had the right book. And it was a whole thing that we had to do and we managed. But now with the internet, I just have to put anything in a Google search and the answer will come to me. And AI is a thousand times more effective than a simple Google search. And I am excited, but I'm also terrified because I can see how good this can be, but I also see how terrible this can end up. And so I'm gonna be exploring that in the, in the next couple of weeks and I'll tell you all about it. But in the meantime, what do you think about this whole AI changing music? And if there's really a conspiracy to get us used to listening to the computers more than the human voice, what do you think? Am I paranoid? And let me know if you bought a ticket to go see the virtual ABBA concert. I would love to hear from somebody who actually saw them. What was that like? And do you think that this is the future of touring for artists? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see me explore this topic more and other topics. Please like it if you liked it. Um, please leave a comment like I said. Please share it with others. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye!